Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's so good to be with you here in our second week of lecturing. Welcome to the introductory lesson um, for week two called Fieldwork, Ethnography and Theory. For those of you who are interested, you can go into your study guide and follow along um, in week two. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Brandon Bordenstein and I'll be teaching this semester. Um, you can contact me via email or you can uh, also start a discussion with us via the discussion forum or the discussion room. Um, we're going to try and encourage you to use that discussion room um, because we'll be using it for our lectures. So for this week you've got this lecture to watch and you will also have a Q&A session on Thursday during the lecture time where we can have a discussion around some of the ideas around this semester's work. So after a very successful first week, um, I'm very excited to start uh, with a brief discussion on field work. Um, so the, how this module is uh, set up is that we are um, starting with an introduction to field work, ethnography, um, and then we move on to a discussion on um, the theories and ideas of framing our research and how do we analyze the, the, the content that we um, have kind of the information we've gathered during research, right? Um, I think part of the reason I'm, uh, well, no, I think I know that part of the reason I'm teaching this semester um, is partially due to my experience, uh, my work experience in research. Um, I like all of you here um, started learning anthropology skills or anthropological skills um, in my undergraduate years and went on to apply these skills and knowledge and theories in my research career ever since. Um, my more recent work as an anthropologist had me working for a tech startup called Yoko. Um, Yoko is, a, for those of you who don't know, is a small to medium enterprise tech company uh, situated in the Western Cape um, who kind of specialize in um, offering payment devices and loans to small businesses in South Africa. So as an example of the breadth of anthropology and the application of its methodology, um, I'll start by telling you about the kind of work I was doing at Yoko. Um, I joined the company as a researcher. Um, so I joined a research team at Yoko and started working on a project um, about customomics. Um, and I worked along with the product development team to make the products more accessible to, to small uh, and medium enterprises, specifically those on the small end um, of the spectrum. So my work involved uh, one of the key skills um, that, that you'll be learning this semester in anthropology and, and have an introduction to, um, and that's the ability to conduct really great interviews. It's the ability to uh, connect with uh, the research participants and to um, draw the connection between uh, what is expected in a research project, uh, the people you're going to be talking to, and then the kind of questions you'll ask. So we'll be dealing with um, some of the practical skills in anthropology as well. And then also, how do you go about building rapport with uh, new research participants? Um, we'll be discussing that as well. You know, um, a big part of uh, the anthropology fieldwork method um, I found was uh, is, is learning to, to negotiate and navigate new spaces. Um, and, and that's something we'll talk about as well, because there are some um, things like safety concerns, uh, what are the spaces you're going to be able to enter, where can you go, where can't you go, are there restrictions on who you can talk to, who you can't talk to, etc. So these are things we're going to um, hopefully uh, kind of draw out during the semester. So anthropology and its methods are not necessarily restricted to, to academic work. I mean, as, as I've explained, I think with my work at Yoko, I found myself constantly relying on, on some of the anthropological skills I learned in my undergraduate and postgraduate um, studies. And there's application for these skills beyond academia and beyond the discipline even. Um, this semester, we're looking uh, to explain what fieldwork entails, how to go about conducting safe and successful and, and engaging um, research methods um, and offering, hopefully, I mean, by the end of the semester, what's going to happen is we're going to offer a number of theoretical positions um, to expand on our understandings of the world. Um, so let's start with a, a no-fuss definition of ethnography, a concept um, you're all very familiar with um, and a form of, of writing and presenting information that you're all familiar with from other anthropology courses 
you should be pretty familiar with the term. And some examples. Um, think about some examples, some of your favorite ethnographies you might have read. Um, bring that to your class on Thursday um, so we can share some of these. Um, one of my favorite ethnographies at the moment, um, and I'm kind of reading through it, is a book by Anna Ting um, in the Realm of the Diamond Queen. Um, for any of you interested, um, this is a, a fantastic book on... Um, it's these kinds of ethnographies that, that give you a new um, kind of insight into a world you might never have uh, experienced yourself. So, so think about the ethnographies, think about things you've come across and um, how do anthropologists actually go about creating these things? I mean, these are the questions we'll be asking and, and discussing. And why is it important how, how we represent people? How do we uh, represent the participants in our research? Um, are there restrictions on how we can represent people? Um, what is the value of of working alongside participants and creating something um, that is not just academic but also has maybe applications for people um, in the real world. So the word ethnography, I'm going to start with the definition, um, has, has a double meaning in anthropology. Ethnography is, um, as a product, um, eth ethnographic writings um, or, or the articles and books written by anthropologists. That's what an ethnography is. Okay. But anthropology, as we'll hopefully unpack this semester, is also a process, um, a process of participant observation, uh, field work, which involves interviews, um, sometimes structured, semi-structured, um, getting to do with building rapport with uh, people over a long period of time. Um, and we'll talk about this. We'll talk about the duration of um, field work um, is is there something that is there something with regards to field work where um, you can spend too little time in the field or too much time in the field? You know these are questions we're going to unpack. You know what are the implications for for having these uh, longer stays or shorter stays in the field? How does that change the way you write about a space? How does it change the way you you present um, your research as well? Um, so in, in constructing ethnographies or writing ethnography, writing ethnographies, anthropologists do more than, than merely write up the field notes they record as part of the process of doing field work. Okay. Over, over the course of the semester, um, we will be reading ethnographies um, and we'll also be having opportunities, we'll, we'll have opportunities as well where you can um, work on practicing your own forms of ethnographic writing, of, of, of sharing um, experiences of fieldwork with each other in, in whatever capacity um, you can, considering the, the, the current situation that we're all in. So think about um, if you are going to do research with people and if, if part of that is going to be shifting to a digital space, what might that look like? Um, and we're going to go into this discussion next week when we discuss anthropology in the 21st century and, and uh, its value. Um, for us as academics as well as beyond. So in preparation, um, we start with a discussion around what anthropology is in the 21st century next week. Um, and you're expected to start reading, right? Use this time while we might not be using, um, having these formal lectures uh, where we discuss in depth the content. These, we will be starting with that next week. So, so make sure you start preparing for these lectures. Go and read the content. Go and pick up questions. Go and um, find out what makes sense for you, what doesn't make sense for you. What is, what is something that's maybe not, not clicking um, and something you want to bring forward or something that you completely disagree with. Um, we're also fine with that. Um, so bring us uh, your, 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 your opinions and your um, reading of the text. So prepare for that for next week, right? Um, while reading, uh, just a note on reading, while reading, remember that this module is designed to bring you in contact with ethnography um, by offering you a, a foundational discussion on fieldwork, its applications in, in our cu current times um, and beyond academia into, a, into all the spaces that you're going to go to in the future. Not, not all of you are going to be um, interested in, in pursuing anthropology further, but it doesn't mean that the skills that you're learning and picking up now aren't going to be applicable um, and useful in, in other parts of your life, you know. 
Um, so think about that. Think about where you're going to be going and, and take this module as an opportunity to learn some skills that, that, that will have um, application um, in, in the broadest sense of the word, right? Um, we want to, to offer you skills this semester. Um, we're going to be talking about things like interviewing. What would that look like if you're going to be interviewing somebody? Um, what are some of the difficulties? Because interviewing is not the easiest thing. Um, sometimes it can go smoothly. Other times it's, it's, it's a difficult and, and um, challenging process to go through. And I'll, I'll bring some of the stories from my own um, research experiences as well. You know, you've got stories of people who actually don't want to be um, a part of any research and treat you with massive skepticism. Like, how do you get past that if you still need to address um, certain questions for a research project or whatever? But we'll get to that. We'll get to the, the nitty gritty and the, the challenges of interviewing um, and the excitement thereof. Uh, I think that, that one of my favorite um, tools in anthropology is or favorite moments is is interacting with people and coming with a, a bunch of ideas about a world and, and engaging with someone um, on a very personal level to kind of get that that, that discussion going and, and get that information that you're looking for so it's it's extremely exciting to be talking about the interviewing process we'll talk about writing as well um, treat your assignments as uh, many writing um, practices as well. Um, you know, writing is a craft. Uh, you can work at it. So if there are things that you're you're not too sure about, those writing assignments are there to give you that space to to practice your writing and to work through some of your um, skills as well, and to do, to develop and hone that writing ability. Right. Um, analysis is also key, um, as Prof and I have already uh, told you. It's not just about uh, writing. Um, our opinions out there it's about giving that basis to our opinions where 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 it's it's thought out structured and informed um, rather than baseless opinions right so hopefully you'll have opportunities to to explore some of this uh, throughout the semester and we encourage you to send us any questions so let's uh, we can conclude for today um, use the time available to start reading the reading materials there for you um, and prepare for your Thursday uh, session where we're going to have a discussion, a Q&A time. I'll bring a couple of questions for all of you and, and you'll just log in to click up. And it's, it's not a live session. Um, you can kind of type, mess, uh, type a question or two and, and, and I'll respond during the lecture time. Um, so feel free to, to bring any questions, concerns, um, and let's get the conversation going. Um, if I'm going to encourage you to do anything, it's, it's to engage actively with this module. Um, it's not just about passing it and getting a grade and moving on. It's about taking a skill from this and just running with it and adapting and changing it uh, as, as you need um, in the future. So I'm excited. Um, next week's going to be a great discussion. We're going to go into some work by uh, people who have written about anthropology and its value in, in uh, the kind of contemporary moment. Um, is it valuable? Um, what will we gain from it? And what can we learn from anthropology um, and how we apply it in the world? So see you on Thursday and thanks for joining. If you have any concerns, drop us an email or go to that discussion room and uh, type us a message. Look forward to hearing from you. And that's all for today. <laughs>